It's town hall. Of course, tens of thousands of Bills fans out at Highmark Stadium right now for the return of the blue and red game. Also a good time to check in on progress for building the new stadium right across the street. Of course, as part of that process, you'll be bringing in tons of contractors and vendors to do the work that's required there over the next three years. And joining me live tonight is April Baskin, chairwoman of the Erie County Legislature, uh, because there is so much of a focus and requirements really to make sure that women and minority owned businesses are a big part of this process. We've discussed some of the challenges with that. Um, you were telling me during the commercial break uh, a little bit of breaking news you can share with us in terms of really trying to make sure this this gets done the way it's supposed to. Yes, we are in a very unique moment here in Buffalo and Erie County where we are facing an immense uh, infrastructure revitalization yeah. and there'll never be a moment in our lives I believe in our lifetime where we can prioritize the marginalized business owners in our community having access uh, to construction opportunities for those that operate in the construction profession so there is a local law at the state and the county level that prioritizes minorities women and disabled veterans have having fair opportunities and being included on big construction projects when they involve public dollars. Mm -hmm. And I have made it my top priority to make sure uh, that those populations get the fair access that they need. Um, so we've been going back and forth with the Turner Gilbane construction team over the last couple of weeks. Kudos to Turner, Turner Construction for sending up uh, their chief diversity officer and working with my office. We have now solidified a couple of information sessions mm. that will be held not just in Orchard Park, but equitably across Erie County. Uh, the first one will be in East Buffalo next week, Tuesday evening on Jefferson Avenue at the Meriwether Library at 5 p.m and others will follow in East Buffalo as well as the cities of Tonawanda and Lackawanna. And these will be opportunities for those marginalized groups to come out and learn ways in which they fit into the future of the stadium construction project. Yeah, and we've been showing some of the video there because there have been some sessions um, to educate people about this, but part of the issue that we've run into is someone may be the owner of a business and think they qualify for this, but they're not certified yet. And Correct. that's a whole separate process, right? And it's a very long process. Yeah. It's a lengthy process. You don't want to get out to a massive uh, construction site like a Bill Stadium or any uh, sports arena and not really know what it is that you're doing. So we do have uh, laws that are put in place at the state level and the county level that people have to kind of go through a process uh, to make sure that their business is prepared. And um, that process needs to be prioritized and treated fairly and people need to be educated about that process. Um, in addition to that, my office has developed a new program, a level up initiative for contractors that fall within those populations, marginalized populations that aren't necessarily ready to compete on the stadium right now. We're working with 25 different local corporations who need contractors. Mm -hmm. They don't necessarily have to be certified to do that work. Um, so through the new level up program that I launched this year, um, we have some minority contractors that are finding work that way. And over over the next couple of years, they'll expand their past performance, their portfolio, and someday have an opportunity to be able to get certified and bid on the many construction projects that are coming our way. Um, I've got about 30 seconds left here, but um, as you look at the timeline, um, construction is really going to start to heat up. I mean, now is the time for everybody really to be thinking about this, going to these information sessions and getting involved. That's right. So when the information sessions are leaving Orchard Park and coming into our communities, the three cities in Erie County, everybody should take advantage. Um, stay close to the Bills website and make sure that you're engaged. The Bills are also going to be hiring now a local construction compliance officer mm -hmm. and an RFP is going out for a community outreach organization to help educate the construction community and the workforce on the opportunities as well. So pay close attention. And to help hold accountable and make sure this, this goes like That's my top priority. Absolutely. There are liquidated damages affiliated with there not being a good faith effort to right. reach marginalized communities and those liquidated damages uh, will be pursued by the state of New York and by Erie County if we don't. So we're all working together to do our best to give everybody an opportunity. Meriwether Library next Tuesday, 5 p.m. That's right. Uh, Chairwoman April Baskin, thanks so much for coming Thank in. Thank you, Mike. You. Thank you.